Vai. Listen, in amore spesso i cuori stanno muti The silence, ma non sempre da un senso due sconosciuti Lui cerca di parlarci ma è difficile Lei si sente so stupid fra le virgole Di una lingua impossibile Mi piacciono evidente Mi visi da una lingua differente Ma l'hai detto inglese che non entra in mente Ma c'è un metodo che è conveniente Se di questo inglese tu non ci capisci niente È semplicissimo, è utilissimo Ti troverai benissimo, è comodissimo Evolution è la rivelazione Un nome, il tuo programma è la tua soluzione È un mio Relation, relazione Ship, nave bah. Bah. Ma, ma. Inglese, inglese. Uh-huh. Shakespeare dice alla regina Devi fare i figli Per fare i figli ti devi sposare E lei risponde E se mi metto con un ragazzo Cioè, what about Quello lì, what About è vostra invece se oppure e se vengo anch'io in inglese you can't say in English instead if I come a volte gli italiani traducono e io incoraggio questo finché impari bene le ordini del sistema inglese translate I'm a big fan of translation ma certe cose è meglio evitare l'italiano è bello quando dice ma dove ma ma dove eri ieri se? You can't say but Perché manca l'altra parte per noi inglesi But cosa? Da 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 Ma Da 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 Ecco You can't start with but You can't say but Where were you last night? Perché l'inglese pensa Oh, non ho sentito la prima parte della frase You can't say Instead I'm coming with you Invece ci vengo con te Perché non ci credo che te... You can't say instead, è, è, è lo stesso problema di but, perché in inglese instead è vero che è invece, però devi dire this instead of this al posto di. Quando dici queste cose è quello, e se vengo anch'io? E se is what about? What about if I come with you? La regina in questo caso dice what about if I get engaged? Ora, to be engaged in inglese vuol dire che ti devi sposare. Engaged, engaged è occupato. Sono occupato perché mi devo sposare. Poi lui, sempre con about, lui dice What about Mary? E quello in italiano sarebbe solo è. Eh, cioè, è Mary? Uh, tu uh, porti i brioche, lo dai a lui, lo dà a lei? A me niente. E dico, e io? What about me? What about me? These are important, you know. Then you have fiancé, which is la parola che ci hanno rubato i francesi, che vuol dire fiancé, non è fidanzato. Fiancé è devo sposarmi. Se questa è mia fiancé, noi dobbiamo sposarsi. Then husband è ovviamente marito and wife is moglie. Però poi italiani, voi italiani dici nipote. Se una donna anziana dice lui è mio nipote, io non so se quello è il figlio della sorella o il figlio di sua figlia, perché è sempre il nipote o la nipote. Mentre in inglese no. Grandmother, al contrario, il nipote, figlio della figlia, grandson, granddaughter, grandfather, grandmother, saltiamo generazione. Granddaughter, grandson. Mentre se il figlio o figlia del fratello o sorella hai nephew, nipote maschio o niece, niece che è la femmina. Ex husband è lui, quello lì che è scappata con la ragazza che vendeva i fiori. Ex, come in italiano, non solo ex wife 
o ex husband, ma ex boss. Dove usi ex in italiano? Lo usiamo eh, in dei stessi uh, punti anche in inglese. We use it the same. We use it the same. Now, the terrible, ugly, sorry Louise, Elizabeth. Your Majesty William Shakespeare. Your Royal Highness. Oh, hello, Shaky. What's going on? I've come to see you, Your Majesty. Well, I can see that. <laughs> oh, by the way, I saw your play last night, Macbeth. Very interesting mm. and quite credible, too. I always said nothing good ever came out of Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> but just tell me, uh, how did it end? Because I'm afraid I fell asleep. Oh, they cut Macbeth's head off, madam. Oh, well, finally, <laughs> a play with a happy ending. <laughs> Your Majesty, you know, the people of England are worried. Why? They want you to marry, to have a son the future King of England. I don't want to marry. What about if I get engaged to someone instead? <laughs> it's not enough, is it? It's not the same, madam. In that case, he would be your fiancé, and you can't have children with a fiancé. You have to be married. The father of the future King has to be your husband. Who says so? The law, Your Majesty. And who makes the law? You. Well, then I'll just change the law. Oh, no, please don't. If you change the law, the English people will just have millions of babies and we will become a nation of moralist, promiscuous animals like in that sin-filled city. Sodom and Gomorrah? No, no, Paris. Oh, dreadful place. Full of French people. <laughs> your Majesty, you can't change the law just for your own personal benefit. That's madness. Fine. Was there anything else? Well, there was actually, yes. It's your private birthday celebration soon. And uh, I'd like to send out a few invitations. I see. Mm. Who would you like to invite, Your Majesty? Oh, well, you know, uh, the usual crowd. <laughs> mm, the King of Spain. The Prince of Naples, Prince Ludwig of Germany, you know, the usual. And, uh, what about Mary? My cousin, Mary Queen of Scots. No, uh, your sister. Bloody Mary? Oh, no, 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 she's a bloody troublemaker, <laughs> just like my father. That's the understatement of the century. What? Uh, nothing, madam. I was just alluding to the fact that occasionally your father did tend to be a little violent. He was a very sweet man. Sweet man. Good God. He killed your mother and another of his wives. <laughs> well, they talked too much. And anyway, he did warn them. And besides, he founded the Church of England. Yes, but only because the Pope wouldn't let him change his woman every two weeks. Oh, it's incredible, isn't it? A nation of Catholics had to convert so Henry could get rid of his wives when he pleased. Oh, what would your grandfather have said? Oh. You are insulting the memory of my father. That is treason. Do you know the penalty for treason? I kick up the bomb. Execution. You're right. I'm so sorry, madam. So, no Marys at your birthday party. <laughs> what about your nephew, Damien? I've never heard of him. And your niece, Sarah? Who are these people? And your uncle, Robin of Loxley? Who? Robin Hood. Oh, yes, but 
No more green tights, please. He was such an embarrassment at Christmas, he kept hiding in a tree. <laughs> Your Aunt Helen of Wales, perhaps? Where? <laughs> Sir Robin's sister-in-law. Oh, look, I'm tired of this. Just invite whoever you like. <laughs> anyway, how old will I be? Uh, 21, Your Majesty. <laughs> what? Again? <laughs> will you never look a day older, my dearest Queen? Oh, I bet you say that to all the girls, you. Uh, not at all, not at all. I actually have written a poem about it to celebrate your beauty and youth. Oh, shaky baby. <laughs> yes. Behold our queen, <laughs> Mary's sister, Henry's daughter, Helen's niece, <laughs> Henry the Seventh's granddaughter, Elizabeth, who is nobody's mother or grandmother. <laughs> well, si, dai, va avanti, hanno capito. Eh? <laughs> uh, is beautiful and youthful looking. Is that it? <laughs> yes. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty, the Prince of Naples. Somebody says there is a queen who needs a king. <laughs> yes, that's right. Ooh, see, a bella guagliona. <laughs> Later, I'll be drunk, then I can marry you. <laughs> she says that to all the girls. <laughs> How much do you give me to marry this woman and not to kill you? <laughs> all I have, sir. And what do you have? <laughs> my, words, my poems and my plays. <laughs> can she cook? Ah, spetta ma che? He's not coming back, is he? <laughs> ah, so what was the point of all that? He came all this way and he never even mentioned his family. <laughs> I don't know. Scognizzo. <laughs> A statistic. Two in three marriages end in divorce. Finiscono in divorce. Why? Many people have different opinions. Um, la differenza tra marriage and wedding. Marriage è il matrimonio, il matrimonio in generale che va avanti anni, you know. Uh, our marriage is good after 20 years, dicevano qualche secolo fa, mentre the wedding is uh, il cerimonio, quel giorno dove, dove tu ti mangiano gratis e tu spendi un sacco di soldi e dopo ti trovi già in debito. And that's the wedding, that's the wedding day, you know, tutte le, soprattutto le bambine che mia sorella metteva la cosa del cuscino in testa con i fiori davanti a davanti a, eh, allo specchio, già da 6-7 anni sognava di sposarsi e io lo vedevo lì davanti allo specchio e mi veniva sempre le lacrime. Ho detto, mamma mia, è già scema. Però, she's married now, and happily, she's happy. No, no, she's happily, happily married. Kate, I'm very happy you married, okay? And also him, who drinks a lot, same thing. But anyway, communication. Communication is very important in a relationship. Okay, um, my girlfriend said that we don't communicate. Yeah, the girl who never listens says that I don't know how to communicate. This is news. This should be on TG Evolution News. This is Evolution News with Francesca Tibaldi and John Brown. Good evening. Two in three marriages end, unfortunately, in divorce, according to a new survey. 
The reason for this sad trend is unknown, but church officials blame the pressure of modern society. What pressures of modern society? That's not the problem. The problem is there's no communication. To have a successful relationship, Francesca, there has to be communication. Wow, I'm surprised. Do you really think that? Do I think what? That communication is important. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I don't know. What do you mean? John! Oh, yeah, and the bigger problem, even bigger problem is um, restaurants. What? What? Restaurants. They're too expensive. They're too expensive. I mean, in a relationship, right, I mean, sometimes, you know, you know routine is a killer. So sometimes you have to take your, your wife mm -hmm. to a restaurant, right? But the restaurants are too expensive. So you're in, in the house all day looking at each other, right? You can't stand each other anymore. And why? Because you can't afford to take her to a restaurant. So you argue and it ends in divorce. So either you take a doggy bag or what's the solution? Close all the restaurants. Close them. Okay. In fact, I'm now preparing... You see, she didn't communicate. She didn't know how to go. Andrea, did you see that? She didn't communicate. And you saw what happened. Andrea, the weather now? Huh? The, the we weather. The weather. The weather. Eh? Ma ti senti? Ma ti senti quando parli? The weather. Cioè, solo dire the weather. Eh? Una volta non eri così. Una volta parlavamo. Eh? Una volta mi chiedevi come sto, cosa sento. Eh? Mi portavi al, al ristorante, mi portavi i fiori. Adesso, no, so, the weather. Sono diventato il tuo oggetto meteorologico. Ma, ma vuoi the weather? The weather, ok. Italy sunny, England rainy. Ok? Contento? Bye. You see? He communicated. Now I understand what the problems are. And from now on, you'll see a different new news, news now. It'll be better because he communicated, because he's a man. Let that be a lesson to, to you in communication. Good night. E butta la spazzatura quando esci. It's communication. You have your mother, and then you have la mamma di marito, o la moglie, suocera. In English, in English it's the mother-in-law, la mamma in legge. Father-in-law, suocero, cognata, cognato, brother-in-law, sister-in-law. E come un specchio. You've got that part of the family, and then you have the same, but in-law, in legge, di tuo marito, o tuo moglie. In uh, Love Island uh, sentirai anche la frase Love is a powerful drug. Drug in inglese e si è droga, illicito. Ed è si è medicina però. Uh, I take a lot of drugs for my uh, cold. Ho la raffreddore prendo un sacco di medicina. In inglese literalmente sarebbe prendo un sacco di droga. Um, I, I, in fact, in Inglaterra there's the drug store, like in America, and the drug store sarebbe il negozio di droga. In fact, when you Londra, when you see the drug store, there are sempre un sacco di uh, studenti stranieri delusi seduto per terra, un po' spandatello. So, drugs are medicine <laughs> in alcuni casi. Um, I am a love orphan. Questa è una cosa che dice Jake nella prossima puntata. A love orphan, che vuol dire un orfano d'amore. È una cosa che ho inventato io, eh? questo non è che si dice così in inglese, però è importante capire orphan, cosa vuol dire senza genitori, orfano. Pronuncia. Uncle, zio, is o, 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 u in inglese, o, uncle, non uncle, perché uncle è la caviglia. Se tu dici... I live with my uncle, vuol dire 
e tu vuoi dire io abito con mio zio, in realtà dici io abito con mio caviglia, e io sono contento per te, but you also live with your foot and your leg and the rest of it. Aunt, my aunt, zia, sento spessissimo aunt, detto aunt, aunt è formica, se tu dici I live with my aunt, io dico tu devi fare amicizia, devi andare fuori, conoscere la gente e, e lascia la tua formica a casa, è troppo piccolo, non può fare i discorsi interessanti, leave him alone. If you say I live, se io abito con gli zii, se in inglese dici I live with my aunt and my uncle, chiamo qualcuno che ti capisci, capito? Yeah, I'm telling you, Julie, he came in today and he was so handsome. Oh, my God. And he had the most beautiful eyes. So I accidentally let out that I'm single. And you know what? Nothing. Can you believe it? Nothing. So handsome, yeah, but so bloody stupid. Oh, I know. Oh, listen, I've got to go. I'll speak to you later. Bye. Jake. Hi. 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 <laughs> So, any news? No, sorry. Ah, well. <laughs> Fantastic. So, uh, you're still off the market, are you? Yes. I'm engaged. Really? What, you're getting married? Yep. When? Um, in the summer, probably. Ah, so you're going to marry. Mm -hmm. It's not a cross on the calendar yet. <laughs> Jake, I want to be honest with you. I'm not attracted to you at all. So, even if I were single... Ooh, ooh second if. Even if I were single, I wouldn't go out with you. I can dream, can't I? Of course you can. Chantal, have you ever been in love? Well, I was married. I fell in love with my brother's best friend and we got married after three weeks. It was wonderful in the beginning, but then there were problems. He was more attached to my mother-in-law than he was to me. So it was a mummy, mummy thing, was it? Exactly. Uh, well, we won't mention the nationality then. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not mention it. So uh, carry on, then what happened? Well, then we started to fight all the time. And I would shout, Paolo, please, I'm your wife. But nothing. His mother always won. So I um, started to have an affair with my brother-in-law. Love. It's a strange thing, isn't it? <laughs> it's so unpredictable. It's such a powerful drug. You know what? My grandmother always used to say to me, love, Jake, it can take you to the stars or it can leave you dead in the middle of the street. And she was right, I suppose. You know, but I don't know. That's beautiful. Yeah, but it's not true. Not really. I mean, I'll never fall in love again. No, me... Jake, Jake Gilbert, no, no. Love can come knocking on my door whenever it wants and I just won't open it. I've had too many letdowns, too many disappointments, too many tears. No, I have to say that I'm a kind of a orphan of love. Sorry. Hi, have you found someone for me? Hello, who are you? Yolanda. <laughs> what a beautiful name. <laughs> you look like my Aunt Doreen. Is she beautiful? Well, she was, until she was killed in a car accident. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Why? Were you driving the other car? <laughs> I don't drive. <laughs> I don't suppose you do. <laughs> Not after the Doreen incident. <laughs> Were you drunk? When? He doesn't even remember the accident. Incredible. I mean, what were you on? Was it lager? What? You've lost me? No, baby. I found you. <laughs> do you like fish and chips? Sure, I do. Do you want some? I'd love to, yes. Have you got any money? A little. OK, then. Let's go and get some. <laughs> oh, Chantal. Yeah. Don't wait up for me tonight. <laughs> Se tu mi dai lavoro, I, I don't like boss, you know, he's my boss. Cioè, mi sembra cioè, veramente l'opposto di, 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 di schiavo, I don't know. You're my employer, if you, if you give me work, you are my employer. Io sono tuo dipendente, I'm your employee. Employer, employee. The employee answers to the employer. Piuttosto che dire, Mr. Smith is my boss, I answer to Mr. Smith. Who do you answer to? Chi è tuo capo? A chi rispondi tu? In modo molto più elegante, secondo me, in, in ogni modo. Um, something about um, pronunciation. Uh, management. Management, non management. Um, promoted. To be promoted. Essere promosso. Because that's a promotion. È, è la, la, promotion di promozione. No, è un false friend. Promozioni anche il lavoro si può, Marco? Ah, ok. So, promozione, to be promoted, passivo, o to be demoted, uh, la posto. Cioè, ti vai da capo a quello, a quello sotto. Um, they demote you, or they sack you. In Inghilterra, they sack you. Sack is sacco, but don't make a connection here. To sack you, to be sacked, licenziarti, essere licenziato. Mentre qui c'è la differenza con gli Stati Uniti, loro sono fuoco, ti fanno diventare un palo di fuoco. They fire you, uh, ti licenziano. To be fired, essere licenziato negli Stati Uniti. Cosa devi fare negli Stati Uniti per essere licenziato? Parleremo. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, voglio darvi un avviso. I want to give you a warning, okay? Because work is important, hmm? and, uh, but so is love, okay? It's more important. And when you mix career with love, it's disastrous. I had the woman of my life, Jasmine. We worked together at the same level at the beginning, we, we worked in a shoe factory. We, we, we glued the shoes, the heels on the shoes, and we were very happy. But then she became my boss. And then uh, there was trouble because uh, she dominated me. She made more money than me. The first thing she did was cut my salary just to keep me in my place, you know. She was my employer. And I was her employee. It was the start of a great career for her, but it was the end of our love. This is for you, Jasmine. I hope you can hear me in that big office you're, you're in now. Here it is for Jasmine. So this is called, Now You're an Employer, and I am an employee. Me and you would add the glue to all the shoes And babe, you were my girlfriend 
We were so happy in our little house where I could concentrate on loving you. But then one day you were promoted and our little world just started breaking down. You were my boss and you would give me orders Not just at home but in the office Oh So now you're an employer And I an employee And you say that you don't want me So baby set me free So now you're an employer And I answer to you I have to wash the dishes But I'm still in love with you When you became a manager and then a top executive And who was I? A stupid guy who filled your stupid boxes up with stupid shoes A thorn in your side Then you cut my money and you thought that it was funny when I could not eat the irony of me putting shoes into stupid boxes when I had nothing on my feet so now you're an employer and I am employee And you say that you don't want me yeah. Then baby set me free And now you're an employer And I am employee And you say that you don't love me Then baby set me free yeah. Just a whiskey Thanks E Vino guarda Quale ti piace di più? Ma non lo so Dai aiutami che non riesco a decidere Quello verde come quello verde? Eh, allora quello giallo. Bravo, c'è ragione. <ride> Senti, poi guarda, ho messo questi jeans. Secondo te, mi fanno il sedere grosso? Ma va! <ride> Dai! I jeans non ti fanno il sedere grosso. No? Qualsiasi tipo di jeans che metti ti fa il sedere grosso. Pure le gonne, i pantaloni. È grosso, c'è poco da fare. Comunque io li prendo lo stesso eh, Allora cosa me lo chiedi a fare? Excuse me mm, uh, Have you got that t-shirt uh, in black? Um, I think so, yeah What size? I think I need a... This What is size a... is this? It's a, it's, a, it's a large I think I need something smaller No, you mean bigger? No, no, smaller I see, uh, listen mm. Take my advice, okay? This is a very small large. It's a very small large. I think, uh, do, you, do you want the hat as well? No, I want the t-shirt, please. Just the t-shirt. Just the t-shirt, please. It's a microscopic large. It's a microscopic large. Oh, yes. Okay, I'll try, try it, try it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Pino, c'ha ragione! È una microscopica large! Praticamente una small! Small. Small! Sì. Um, how much is it? 
surprisingly expensive, I'm afraid. It's £180. Wow, very yeah. expensive. I don't think so. Um, have you got anything cheaper? Yeah, lots of things cheaper, but they're not t-shirts. <laughs> que simpatico. <laughs> wow, look at these shoes. What size are they? Do you really want to know? I mean... Yes. All right. Uh, look on the sole there. <gasps> Is my size? It doesn't make any difference. I want to try them. <laughs> try. Look! They fit perfect! Pino, sono le mie. Guarda che belle. Così puoi sposare il principe azzurro. Così. How much are these? I'm sorry, they're 300 pounds. I can't afford it. Yeah, I know you can't afford it. I'm sorry. Put them in the bag. I'm sorry? You are really sore, eh? <laughs> Put them in the bag. Both of them? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and the... the other stuff? Yes, thank you. All of it? Yeah. Well, go on then. Pinata, amore. Toliti jeans and matina sacchetto. Va bene. Ma non qui, nel camerino. How much for the shoes, the maglietta and the jeans? 380 pounds. How much in euros? 600. You can keep the change. There's no change. <laughs> Very nice doing business with you, sir. Hi. Hi, Michael. How are you? Thank God you're here. I'm starving. Oh, uh, Michael, if you get any Italians here, make them believe that they can't afford anything. Because that way, they buy everything. I know, I know. <laughs> Senya is a spiritual person. She claims that she already met me in a previous life. In London. What was I doing in London? I asked. You were selling rat meat on the street, she informed me. Well, somebody had to do it, I said defensively. And who were you? I was the daughter of a lord, she answered. Convenient, I thought. So did you buy any of my rat meat? I asked. No, of course I didn't. Anyway, I remember you because you looked miserable. Obviously, I said. I was a sad, pathetic creature. Conchettina interrupted. Why are you speaking in the past tense? I can't say anything bad about Xenia because Conchettina is obsessed with her. She thinks she has special powers. This afternoon, Conchi said, Thanks to Xenia, this morning I found myself. That wasn't difficult, I said. You were in the kitchen. Listen, I am not an ignorant man. So, I gave this spirituality thing a chance. We all sat together in the kitchen and listened to whale music. The whales singing was very interesting. How did they get them to record this, I asked. Is there an enormous recording studio under the sea for whale stars? What do you mean, Xenia asked. Well, these whales are making CDs, aren't they? Do they do concerts as well? Are you making fun of me, John? No, no, I was just being... An idiot, Conchie concluded. She likes to finish my phrases like that. Anyway, Xenia put on her favourite whale CD, a classic whale song performed live somewhere in the Indian Ocean. Oh yeah, these guys were the Pink Floyd of the whale world, maybe. Which one is playing bass? I asked. Xenia asked us to be quiet while she narrated. Close your eyes, she said. We closed our eyes. Imagine a place, a place 
you would really like to be now. I imagined the local swimming pool. Now, in that place, leave your body. You are a ghost. You are invisible. Where do you go now? Into the ladies' changing rooms. <laughs> what? said Conchi. Oh my God. I had said it. I intended just to think it, but I had said it. The ladies' changing rooms. That's where you want to be. Oh, come on. I'm just joking. You're ridiculous, she concluded. That is when I lost my temper. Yes, Conchi, I am ridiculous. Look at me. I am sitting here listening to whales scream in the sea with a woman who has known me for 300 years. And you, the intelligent Conchetta, who is never wrong. Ah, so you finally admit it. It must be wonderful to be you, I said sarcastically. So perfect. Conchettina smiled. Oh, I don't know. It can be a little embarrassing sometimes. Silence! Xenia screamed. This is a moment of peace and love, not conflict. We sat in silence. Listen to what the whales are saying to us. Can you hear them, John? Yes. What are they saying to you? They are saying, where are the fish? That's it, I'm leaving, Conchi shouted. I left the house too. And I went to my spiritual temple, the pub, to ask for some spiritual advice from my guru, Dave. How do I find myself, Dave? I asked. Dave looked at me and smiled. You must walk east until you come to the river. You must walk along the river for three days. You will arrive at an old tree by an old castle. There you will find your answer. Take food and drink. You may be gone for a week. This was very exciting. I, I can't leave Conchi and Salvo alone for a week. Dave put his hand on my shoulder and smiled. Don't worry, I will be with them. Now go! Listen, in amore a spazio cuore stanno muti The silence Hanno sempre da un senso due sconosciuti yeah. Faccio un metodo che è conveniente Se di questo inglese tu non ci capisci niente È semplicissimo, è utilissimo Ti troverai benissimo, è comodissimo Evolution è la rivelazione Un nome, il tuo programma è la tua soluzione I need you to speak to me now Ho bisogno di parlarti It's so easy baby Please I'll show you how It's so easy baby Yo, yo, 